In this video, I'd like to go over the simple page. We'll be using our instrument Poly for this demonstration. So the simple page was designed to give the user ease of access to some of the most basic and fundamental parameters of the instruments. So if you're working quickly and you don't have the time to go through all the parameters on the advanced page or search for the function you need, you can just stay on the simple page and uh, do a lot of damage just with that. So I'll make my way from the top all the way down uh, going through each parameter. So over here we have a bypass. This will bypass just the whole layer itself. So I can try playing something in here. You're not going to hear anything. Uh, the whole layer is just bypassed. So we'll turn that on. Right here we have a low pass filter cutoff and a low pass filter resonance. These are global for the layer. So if I play something here, we'll bring the mod wheel up. So that's the cutoff. Uh, then we have the low pass resonance. All the way over here, we have that mirrored with the high pass filter cutoff and the high pass resonance. You can tell that some of the knobs have numbers in the middle of them. These don't always represent the value you're going to see under the knob. For instance, you see like over 2000 hertz right here, but only 127 here. Uh, this is more representative of what you're going to see in your DAW uh, when you look at automation of it. Uh, it's going to go from 0 to 127, so this is pretty much just those uh, the MIDI numbers there. You have pan over here for the whole layer. <laughs> Then you have a main volume. I can. Then you've got over here a coarse tune. Uh, let me take the ARP off for this. And uh, you can affect the octave just from here. So I can turn this up. Let's put it at four. As you can tell, it's really high. Let's go down. here. Then you have uh, the ability to turn the ARP on from here or the MIDI player. I'm going to turn the ARP back on and you can change the octave of the ARP. Making our way down, uh, this section right here is pretty much going to be all your oscillators. Uh, you've got an oscillator factory presets uh, menu right here. So this can change the sound pretty dramatically if you want, uh, and you don't even have to do a lot of tweaking to anything, but it can give you a unique sound uh, as you go through these. And so uh, what those are doing is it's just changing the combination of all the oscillators that you find right here. So we'll go through these. You have three main oscillators, oscillator 1, oscillator 2, oscillator 3. You've got a sub oscillator, a noise oscillator, and a ring. Now the first three oscillators are identical in the functionality. You have an octave, fine tune, you've got level, you've got waveform type, and there's 16 different there. And then you've got waveform shape. And that, like I said, that's going to be identical for our, these first three right here. Then we go to the sub oscillator. You've got a level for the sub oscillator. You've got a waveform type. You've got, I think, six different ones there. You've got a retrigger mode as well. Going to the noise oscillator, we've got a level and four different types of noise. Going to the ring, we've got a level, and then you've got two sources. For the first source, you're going to have oscillator one and the sub oscillator as an option, and oscillator two and three for the second source. Over here, we've got amplitude envelope. I'm going to turn the ARP back off for a second. So this is your standard ADSR. You've got attack, decay, sustain, and release. And then we also have amplitude velocity control right here. So, so yeah, it kind of has a key sound here. I can increase this. Maybe increase the sustain a little bit. This. Make something of a pad out of it. And over here you've just got your normal filter settings. You've got a bunch of different filter types. You've got a filter cutoff. You've got a filter resonance. You've got a filter envelope amount. So this is... <laughs> a 
If you want to look for the controls on that, you're going to find them on the advanced page right here. And then you've got a filter distortion and multiple different types there. And like the amplitude envelope, you, where you have the amplitude velocity, you've got a filter velocity fader right there. So in this last section, we have it split into two different parts. Uh, you've got motion and modulation. The motion is made up of two different um, LFOs. Both of these are pre-assigned, one to volume and one to pan. I can give this a little bit more sustain and give you a demonstration. Uh, so you've got the bypass up there for both of these. You've got a waveform type. Put that on ramp. Then you've got um, a retrigger mode. You've got a mount. So this is going to say how much the LFO affects the volume for this one. Uh, so I can. Affect it like that. You've got a rate. And if you want to see the value of that, like everything else, the value is just under here. And uh, this light is going to indicate pretty much whatever rate you're at. So if you're at a faster rate, you'll see it reflecting that. Slower rate, you'll see it reflecting that. You've got a shape for the uh, LFO waveform. And then you've got a phase over here. And like I said, all that is identical to what you're going to find in the pan. And then the last section here, or the last part, you've got um, modulation. Now we have two different controls here. You've got mod wheel and after touch. So you can bypass both of these at will, and you've got an amount for that. So how much the uh, so the range of the mod wheel and how that's going to affect the sound. And then you've got a multitude of destination options. So that goes over the simple page and each of the functions on Poly. Tune in for our other videos if you want to learn more about what's on the advanced page.